I say that man is entitled to his own happiness and that he must achieve it himself, but that he cannot demand that others give up their lives to make him happy. I and grant. nor should he wish to sacrifice himself for the happiness of others. I hold that man should have self-esteem. And cannot man have self-esteem if he loves his fellow man? What's wrong with loving your fellow man? Christ, every important moral leader in man's history, has taught us that we should love one another. Why, then, is this kind of love, in your mind, immoral? It is immoral if it is a love placed above oneself. It is more, more than immoral, it's impossible. Because when you are asked to love everybody indiscriminately, that is, to love people without any standard, to love them regardless of the fact of whether they have any value or virtue, you are asked to love nobody. But in a sense, in your book, you talk about love as if it were a business deal of some kind. Isn't the essence of love that it is above, uh, above self-interest? Uh, well, let me m make it uh, concrete for you. What would it mean to have love above self-interest? It would mean, for instance, that a husband would tell his wife, if he were moral, according to the conventional morality, that I am marrying you just for your own sake. I have no personal interest in it, but I am so unselfish that I am marrying you only for your own good. Well, should would, husbands and wives tally up? Would any woman up? like that? Should husbands and wives I'm tally up at the end of the day and say, well, now, wait a minute. I love her if she's done enough for me today, or she loves me if, if I have properly performed oh, my functions. Is no, you misunderstood me. That is not uh, how love should be treated. I agree with you that it should be treated like a business deal, but every business has to have its own terms and its own kind of currency. And in love, the currency is virtue. You love people not for what you do to, for them or what they do for you. You love them for the values the virtues which they have achieved in their own character. You don't love causelessly. You don't love everybody indiscriminately. You love only and then, those who deserve it. And then if a man is weak or a woman is weak, then she is beyond, he is beyond love? He certainly does not deserve it. He certainly is beyond. He can always correct it. Man has free will. If a man wants love, he should correct his weaknesses or his flaws, and he may deserve it but he cannot expect the unearned, neither in love nor in money, but you neither have, in matter nor spirit. You have lived in our world and you realize, recognize the fallibility of human beings. There are very few of us then in this world, by your standards, who are worthy of love. Uh, unfortunately, yes, very few. But it well, is open to everybody to make themselves worthy of it, and that is all that my morality offers them. If they will A conduct. way to make themselves worthy of love, although that's not the primary motive.